Lot 418, opening at? $150,000. 150,000, looking for 160,000. 160. 160 to 170. 160 to 170, I have 160 on Heritage Live, coming in at 170,000. At a cut bid, I'll take that, 160. 170. Oh, one, now I have 170, now to 180. I have 180, now to 190. 180 190. to one, 190 to 200. 200 to 220. I have a prior 200. Prior 200, will you come in at 220? I have 200, looking for 220. Two, uh, 210. 210, I'll take the cut, now 220. 210 on Heritage Live, still looking for 220. 210 watts, 210,000 twice. Sold for 210,000. There's 7165. 7165. <laughs> You were a bidder this weekend on a very important bank note at a heritage auction. Can you describe the note you bought and why you purchased it? I bought a serial number one red seal on, on Alaska, which uh, was a territory that I didn't have a number one note on. Um, there are only three known. Actually, only two were known when they cataloged the, the note. Um, a lady at the um, University, of the Nor uh, University of Alaska Museum of the North saw the, saw the heritage press release and said, hey, we have one of those. Uh, I emailed her and she sent me an image front and, front and back and she has the B plate position serial number one red seal. It doesn't have, she has no pedigree on it. It, um, it has no um, provenance, but um, unlike the note that I bought, which came directly from the, from the Fairbanks family, um, but, uh, but now there are three known. You, you paid over $200,000 for the note? Well, what kind of value does that represent in terms of the banknote rarity and numismatics overall? I think it's an incredible bargain. I think that if everybody knew what I knew, it would be worth somewhere somewhere in the three to five million dollar range. Um, it is. There are only about seventy serial number one territorials known nationwide. Um, they are the creme de la creme. They are the proof gold of of the national banknote hobby. Um, in fact, they're the proof gold patterns of the national banknote hobby. Let me put it that way. They're equivalent to the Amazonian gold set that, that is on display here for everybody to see. Um, of those 70, many of them are in museums or in permanent, permanent collections that will never be sold. So um, I'm very fortunate that I have, uh, that I have several of them. Um, I needed the note because 54 different states and territories issued red seals. And of course, everybody that issued a red seal would have issued, been issuing serial number one red seals. With the Alaska, I now have number one red seals on 46 different states and territories. And of the eight that I'm missing, only one is even known to exist. So I needed it for my set, so I, I really wanted to buy it. I felt that I, I had to have it and it was an important piece in my collection.